Hello and welcome to the CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to show you how to process the order from the admin panel. In the previous video we created a new order. So now it's time to process it and ship our products to the customer. You can learn about new orders from the recent orders this panel. Oh, you can learn about new orders through the email notifications. Here, order number 98 has been placed successfully. Here we can learn what this order is all about from the invoice. And we also uh, can see that the customer made a contact with us and sent a message what to do after. If we click this link, I'll show it later. Uh, we will be redirected to the orders page, to the discussion tab and... Uh, oh, just let me show you. This is the orders page. Click communication tab. And after that you can answer to that question and continue the discussion. Alright, now let's speak about more general things. By the way, speaking about emails and email notifications. You can change the department's emails in settings company scroll down and here you will find all departments emails you can use one email for all departments or you can use different emails for different departments for example one email for the user department for the new users another email for the site administrator another email for the order departments for the new orders and everything that is related to the orders and uh, the same thing we can say about other departments now let's go back to the admin panel you can begin the processing straight from the recent orders panel or you can make a way through the orders view orders and visit the general orders page here it is let me describe this page first here we have the total items panel, where you can change the number of the items per page. Now it's 10, you can make it like 50, and the number of the pages will decrease from 8 to 2 pages. Well, but the number of the orders per page will increase accordingly. Alright, that's clear. Now the table. Here you can sort out the orders by ID, status date for example the oldest when used by the customers to find out what orders were created by one and the same customer and so on search panel here we have save searches we can delete them or create a new one save searches speed up the process of searching the orders you need for example, clicking uncompleted button, I will find all uncompleted orders. All will show me all available orders. We can also use the ordinary search by customer, by email, by the responsible manager, uh, by total, and uh, advanced search is always at hand. The last thing here is the plus button and the gear button. Plus button adds the new order. I guess that's clear. So, you can create the order from the admin panel. Uh, this might be useful, for example, when the customer calls you, calls your manager, and uh, asks to create an order to pay for this order later. And you just click this button, add products, add the customer, and it's done. I guess I'll show this process in one of my next videos. Alright, gear button. Here we can invoice bulk print, so we choose, for example, or, so we choose some orders, click this button and get all invoices of these orders. We can also download all invoices in PDF format. Packing slip bulk print, the same thing. The list of the products uh, that is attached to the box, to the package. 
view purchased products. Then you click this button, we have selected orders. You will get the products that are included in these orders. Export selected allows you to create a CSV file from these orders. Incomplete orders shows all incomplete orders in the store. No data found, so I guess I don't have any incomplete orders. That's great. And last one here, delete selected. Uh, that's it about the general description. Now let's talk about statuses. Let me explain what all these statuses mean. The first one, open. Open is an automatic status that is um, assigned to the order when the order just created and the customer didn't pay for the order yet. So, I think that's clear. Processed. This is the paid order. For example, then the order went through the payment service, money went to the seller and uh, the payment was successful. The seller got the money, the customer got the products. Clear. Failed, declined, backordered, cancelled. When something goes wrong, anything, from a technical error in the payment service, when something goes wrong in the post office, anything, that's not okay. Awaiting call, related to the call requests, and here, call requests. Then uh, the customer decides to buy with one click and uh, asks you to call him or her back. That's it. And I should say about notify customer and notify orders department. So when the status is changing from open to processed, from process to complete, the notifications, if this and these checkboxes are enabled, will be sent to the customers and order department accordingly. That's it about statuses. Now we can finally get to business, orders page. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. You can change statuses in administration, order statuses. Here you can edit already existing statuses. Some of the statuses, by the way, edit by the add-ons and you create the new ones. Finally, orders page. At the left side of the page, we can see the customer's information. Billing address, shipping address. At the center we have the product information, the total, subtotal with taxes and so on, okay, customer notes, staff only notes, and the barcode. Here, uh, by the way, this is the general tab. Here we can change the status of the order payment information. We can assign the responsible manager from the available administrators, for example, like this. Shipping information, the method, custom shipping method, and here we can create the shipment. I'll be speaking about that a little bit later. We can create several shipments, by the way. All right, next tab, add-ons tab. All the add-ons that influence the order. For now, it's only comments and reviews add-in. Communication enabled. Promotions, all promotions that have been applied to the order. Coupon code, free shipping coupon. And communication. As you might remember, in the previous video we wrote a message to the manager and asked him what to do after. Here we can reply to this question. Or we can delete it, disapprove, delete, anything. Ok, add to post. Your message. By the way, this discussion will be shown to this customer only. It is private, of course. Wait for the for products. Of course, the customer will get uh, the email notification about this new post and can reply after that. Now let's create shipments and finally get this order complete. New shipment. Custom shipping method. We can choose any other shipping method, but I recommend you to use the one that the customer chose. Okay, with the first shipment we will send two iPads. Here we can uh, enter, we can get the tracking number 
to track the order if you use uh, FedEx and any other official post service. We can use the career, we can choose the career, add comments and change order status. For example, there might be a status like shipped or I don't know, partly shipped, something like that. Now let's change it to the processed. Send shipping notification to customer. Done. And now let's send the free iPads that were left. And after that we can click the complete. Let's um, pretend that we already got the money. Create. Done. The order has been completed. Here we can take a look at our shipments, at the shipments page. Yeah, you can uh, get an access to this page from the orders, shipments. Status picked up, packed, shipped. You can pick and slip uh, bulk print here and delete selected shipments. Here you can take a look at the information about shipments, add a comment, change the shipment date. By the way, that's important <laughs> to inform your customer about when the products uh, were shipped and change the status. For example, shift. And this one is packed. You can also search for the shipments if you have lots of them. And I think that's a um, nice functionality to control all your shipments and um, it won't allow you to lose them. Then there will be lots of shipments in your store. What else? Ah, I guess I forgot to tell you about the gear button. Here, the last thing about orders page and orders in general. Here you can print the invoice specifically for this order. You can download the invoice in PDF format. You can edit invoice. And now in CSCART we have the individual invoice editor. You can create the template for the invoices, but also you can change the individual invoices on the orders page. For example, I can enter the tracking number here. I can, I don't know, add some taxes, like, and change the total cost. Or maybe leave some notes. Yeah. For example, uh, enjoy something like that and save changes. What else here? Print packing slip, download packing slip, I think that's clear. Edit order. Yes, you can edit order from the admin panel if uh, you need. Save. Copy that order and request a replacement or refund. Well, I think, yeah, I can say about that uh, in this video. So, uh, after the order was completed, there will be a refund option. Let's go to the storefront. Orders. Find our completed order. And here is a button, request a replacement or refund. The this button, if something went wrong, your customer can get a refund for the broken products or get a new product instead of a broken one. I'll be speaking about this functionality in the next video in a more detailed way. For now, I guess that's it about order processing. Now you know how to process the orders from the admin panel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.